intern good morning good morning i know it's so early the sun isn't even up yet but we are ready to get to work and i have some exciting news our fame as a fantastic dinosaur zoo is spreading all over the world and now look at this a group of scientists developed a process to create dinosaur eggs by paying a sponsorship by paying a sponsorship fee you can get one of their first eggs but the scientists can't guarantee the species you might get a more common stratosaurus or a rare Tyrannosaurus Rex. To accept this challenge, pay the $12,000 sponsorship fee for the new dinosaur to be delivered in a crate near your zoo. And let's do it in turn! Oh, we're getting so many amazing new creatures that we don't even know what they are. And so this is so exciting. Very first thing. Ah. Oh, that's a common species. But that's okay. Very first thing in the morning, we get a surprise arrival. Isn't that so fun? Oh, drop bucket. Where? Ah, there's the crate. Block on the entrance, of course. Is it, is it one of these guys? It's a boy though! It's a boy! Oh, that's so exciting! We could have probably made him ourselves in our lab, but he's already an adult it seems. Oh, that's fantastic. Welcome! Welcome to the zoo! Good! He's going to be so excited to have three females in his little harem too, so we'll have to see how that goes. Oh, speaking of the females, somebody needs a bath, huh? There we go. We really have to keep an eye on these guys. They need constant bathing in order to make sure that they stay nice and healthy. Oh! Whoop! Whoop! Look at that! That took no time at all! They're already mating! Okay! <laughs> and of course, they're right in the middle of the Jeep tour. Uh, but yeah, they're, um, that's going to be interesting for these people to watch. It's a once-in-a-lifetime event! I mean, look, your, your Jeep tour is uh, being held up by a pair of mating meeting uh, little Styras, so yeah, that happened, and she's pregnant! Oh, that's fantastic! So he's very happy. He just got added into the zoo, and the next thing he knows, he's already got females and a little harem showing up, and he should be very happy. All right, so what we're going to do now... What on earth is all this about, anyway? I think of the big blue stems cause this weird shadow thingy. What we're going to do now is make sure that all of... Oh, Nana Hen is pregnant again. Make sure that all of our animals are okay and move the Smilodons over. It's time to work on the Smilodon exhibit today. I'm very happy about that. I think it's North American... Oh, what's this? Nope. Can't do marine show challenges. No, thank you. No, thank you. So I'm very excited because the Smilodons had twins and I want everybody to be able to come and see the twins and really admire them and think that they're absolutely fantastic. So let's see. Prairie. We need to get a prairie biome put in. No problem. We can get that put in. No problem. All right, let's see. Prairie, prairie, prairie. So here's the sod we're going to use in turn. Ooh, look at that. It's all dark. Very good for them to blend into. Yes, and we're getting closer on getting the triceratops. That's exciting. All right, so prairie and Pegomastix18 is now pregnant. Wonderful. Also, we need to make some more Archiraptors because they need more breeding material. Look at the, look at the little, little one. Ah, she's so cute. Look at her little baby. She's grooming her little babies. Oh, that makes me happy. Oh, that's the male actually. Oh, that's so cool. All right. So what would we need for our Smilodons in order for them to have a really fantastic exhibit? Well, they're already a family of Smilodons, so I think one of the things we should definitely do is consider getting them a large rock cave, so the whole family can be in there. So we'll get a large rock cave or sleeping platform. I think the rock cave can hold more than just like one at a time, but we'll also give them like another rock cave over here in case they need some privacy. So we'll give them a little rock cave back here, and we'll give them a big rock cave too. And as far as uh, food goes, the flesh-eating device should be a much better root, like regulated source of where we can provide food for them. And we'll put it kind of in the middle of the exhibit so people can see them as they feed. And let's see, since this is a prairie, I don't know if they would end up with like, there's not really, like there's creeks and things in a prairie. So it would be kind of cool to give them a little creek. A very small little like creek that runs by. But we need to make sure that it's it, they can drink from it. 
and they can walk over it, so it's going to be a little bit tricky doing this. Yay, Nanahin just gave birth! She's a very wonderful mother. She has lots and lots of chicks. Alright, what about this? I wonder if that would work. I wonder if we can make that work. Hmm, we'll have to see. I kind of want to make like a tiny little waterfall on one side, but I think that would be way too overdone, especially for a prairie area. Alright, and then is the big, almost done with the big, big, big piece. Um, we should definitely research like car tires and put down a bunch of bones so we can have like, as usual, mimic somebody who just got eaten by something with a bit of bones and meat scattered all in the same area. And that'll let them forge and eat these pieces. Yes, the large rock cave research is now complete. We really may have to give them a much larger exhibit too. That might be a thing. All right, so that's done. And what else can we put in for their entertainment? Ooh, a nice scratching post. The Health and Husbandry Association, a non-profit or non-profit organization, is holding a 50/50 raffle and has offered to sell you a block of 10 tickets for $1,000. Oh, yeah, let's participate in the raffle. Even if it's like not going to make us any money. Oh, wow, we won the 50/50 raffle. Oh, that's so cool. Yay, we won money, even though I was just thinking we were, like, donating it to a good cause. So that's really awesome. All right, let's put that in there. Maybe we'll put in, like, some little scuttling mice to run around that they can chase. We'll have to see. I think a car tire and the bones will be really, really good for them. All right, now for prairie. So as far as prairie goes, I'm just going to kind of look at savanna plants more than anything, I think. Wow. We do have all of these. Hmm. Hmm. I used to live next to a huge prairie in terms of Kansas. I lived near Kansas. So I kind of know what we're looking for. Let's see. Oh, little forget me nots. Oh, so awesome. Wow, look at that giant table coral. That's so cool. It's kind of like this. Like these, except bigger. Would be what you would see in Kansas. But that's also because the prairie grass is pretty tall. Um, so let me see, where oh where would we find grass like that? I think it would just be what we would consider savanna grass. Or actually, this red oat grass is very, very close to what you would see everywhere. It really is. So let's put one of those down. Oh, look, the research for the car tire is done. Put one of those down so they have that to play with. And let's continue looking for our wonderful Smilodon exhibit expansion pieces. Ooh, these are some pretty lady ferns. I should have put those in with our tiger. I wonder if we should look into getting the tiger a mate. It's kind of like, it doesn't fit with the theme of what belongs here, but it kind of fits. All right, let's see. Like these, the elephant grass, that too, is, is kind of more of what you would see. Kind of a mix of those two. And a little bit the black thorn bush. But it's too bushy. Like you're you're talking more about like grass type plants uh, for the prairie. But we can put it in here. What? Why have you been put into a crate? Why? Why are you in a crate, young sir? Why are you outside? I know you're new, but you need to stay. Why are you way over here? What has gone on? What has happened? Stay with your females, little one. Stay with your females. I'm gonna have to put invisible like fences. Oh, look, he destroyed it. I didn't know you could just- he's- he's even- he's even a ruder dude than the other ones! My gosh! I think that was actually like an entrance. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to put more in their exhibit so he stays more focused on that zone <laughs> and isn't destroying everything! Uh, Alright, let's get down in here. And let's just put a whole bunch of these grasses down to mimic that prairie intern. We'll remove some strategically, I think. And then I think it's almost time to release a whole bunch more dodos into the wild. So we'll go through our dodos and we'll see after Apocalypse which ones might be in the mood to uh, go out and be released to the wild. Oh, no. Really? Now? Really? Okay. We just had an earthquake. 
Don't panic, intern. Stop, drop, and roll and all that nonsense. A small earthquake has struck your zoo. Fortunately, none of your guests or animals were hurt. However, the quake has destroyed some of your fences and alarmed the animals. The Disaster Relief Fund has offered you an aid package to reimburse you for the broken fences. Once you have replaced or removed all the broken fences in your zoo, the fund will grant you $28,000. Okay. Smilodon exhibit? I guess we'll start with you. It's totally destroyed. Look at it. My beautiful exhibit I just had. Oh my gosh. Why? Why, 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 why? Okay. Earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. I can fix this. Oh my goodness. If this is just on an empty exhibit. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Everybody's getting tossed in crates. Okay. Hang on. I can only go so fast. I can only go one. Oh my gosh. And she's going to build a nest for her young. Okay, oh my gosh, and the quagga are going to get loose. Chaos! Absolute chaos! Ah, quagga! At least the quagga, like, are, are semi-safe. Oh dear. Ah! Oh dear. Now's not the time to open my phone up. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Don't panic, intern. We have built this. I'm a little worried we might run out of money, though. We really need to start making some of the animals just, just to sell to other zoos. No joke, we're running low on the funds. Oh my. No, 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 no. You do not get to come in here and try to eat my quagga. That's not happening. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not happening. Sorry, Charlie. Also, I need the jeep gate. Jeep gate, jeep gate. Where's my jeep gate? Otherwise, everyone's going to be stuck on that forever. Vehicle gate right here, please. Alright, oh, and this one was broken back here. Oh, they're gonna be escaping everywhere! This is like the worst possible thing that could happen. Oh no, my dodos! Don't tell me the dodos are gonna get loose. Oh no! Okay, going down here. Glass fence, you're fine. Oh my gosh. Hey you, come here you! Alright, you get back in here. Oh my goodness. Breathe deep, don't panic, breathe deep, don't panic. <gasps> Look at the hole in my fencing! <sighs> oh, oh, dang! Okay, okay, don't panic, don't panic in turn. Like I said, it's very important not to panic. Okay. Alright, they're just driving over the rubble right there. Okay, quick, and we need another vehicle gate right there. Oh boy. I know, the little kid's like, I don't think this is safe anymore, I'm not happy. Oh, and he's wetting himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. Alright, so this exhibit should be safe again now. Very good on my fast acting zookeepers to start like putting everybody in crates. Alright, and then you... Oh, this is number eight. Awesome. Actually, I think we could probably uh, adopt her out because we have quite a few of these guys. And they're laying more eggs. Aha! Here's another broken fence part over here. Alright. So we're going to let you out. I think that, yeah, that takes care of this fencing at least. All right, come here, you. Oh, no, we're losing fame. Ah, my smiling nuns. Da, 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 da. Oh, my gosh. 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 <gasps> Intern, there's so much damage to everything. Oh, it's so sad. Oh my gosh, where are my Smilodon babies? I guess we can move them into their new exhibit now. Because their old exhibit is just smushed. Smushed. Okay, this area is safe now. Alright, let's grab the Smilodons. They are meat eaters. We do not need them roaming the zoo loose. Okay. Oh, is the Bengal tiger still in its exhibit? The quagga's really thirsty? Why? Where are you? Drink! Drink from your little spot, my little love. I don't understand your thirst. Have a bazillion water thingies while I'm trying to to man this like disaster. Oh dear. Oh, the Oviraptor exhibit has taken some damage. I'm glad that some people are feeling like educated and calm. Meanwhile, I'm running around like a, a Oviraptor with my head cut off, trying to get everything fixed. Okay. Ah, dang it. Okay, almost there. All right. What about over here? All right, down here, down here. Alright, is that good? I think that fixes everything in the Oviraptor exhibit, so they can be let out again. Nope, there's one! Ah, uh, dang it! 
Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, fudge. I just released it. It just walked right out. Come here, you. All right, come here. You're going to stay in here. And there's that. Phew. So the Pegomastics are... Oh! <laughs> chaos. Mass chaos everywhere. Okay, let's do this. I've got an idea in turn. Oh, that'll help a lot. All right, so how's the Bengal tiger? Bengal tiger is nice and safe and secure. All right, good. I see where the Pegomastics are definitely going to be getting out all over the place because their fencing has been tremendously broken. Oh, I cannot believe it's taken so much damage. All right, that's good. That's good. Dodo, get out of there. You realize you're like food for these guys. Get in here. All right, gotta fix up the dodo fencing. All right, and put that there. We've got a sleeping dodo right here. <laughs> we do not need dodos running loose. All right, we need to put this fencing in right here. Good, good, good. And next up, that fencing. Oh, there's dodos everywhere. There are dodos absolutely everywhere. Why are you sitting on your rumps, maintenance man and, and zookeeper? This, I'm, I'm so tempted. Like, don't even, don't, don't look at me, you two. I totally am tempted to fire you now. All right, let's catch you over there. All right. Catching the stray dodos. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like every week the animals escape. We have the worst track record with actually being able to keep our animals where they belong. We're gonna get in so much trouble. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, what are you? You're a dodo. Come this way, little one. And Super Dodo 8 is really thirsty because it's probably wandered far, far away. What did I tell you? Oh my gosh. They're making an escape for it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even. Look at them. Look at them trying to run for it. They really are just trying to like escape. Look at them. Grand Dodo escape. This is ridiculous. Get over here, you guys. Nanahen, where are you going? You might lay another egg. Oh my goodness. All right, let's clear that out. Here's another dodo. Fistfuls of dodos, handfuls of dodos, dodos everywhere, dodo feathers popping out all over the place. All right, come on, come on, come on. Your food and water is over here, my little ones. Come on, come on, come on. All right, come here. All right, and you're a dodo. I almost grabbed the little kid by accident. That would have been very awkward. Oh, and young prince just died of old age. Oh. Super, super over raptor is going to build a nest for her young. I'm glad my woolly rhinos haven't really felt much inclination to try to escape their area. Even though now that I look at it, having the woolly rhinos in this exhibit seems kind of dumb. If they wanted to, they could just push over these twigs and be like, I'm out of here. All right, there's that. We move the Smilodons. Oh my gosh, dodos! <laughs> and pegomastics! There's dodos and pegomastics everywhere! <gasps> oh, this is chaos! Utter chaos! Okay, Dodo 20 has been healed. Okay, come here. Come here, you. Dodo 19. Dodo 34. Okay, you go in here. Uh. Alright, grab the Dodo. Dodo 23, you go in here. Alright, who's this? That's a Pegomastix. You need to go back into your enclosure, which should be fixed by now, I think. Pretty sure it's fixed by now. No, it's not fixed. Stay, 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 stay. Oh my gosh, look, there's dodos roaming in here, too! <laughs> they did not wait! They took their, their flight of opportunity and just, like, left. Oh my gosh. Alright, how's the fence pieces? Okay, yeah, we've gotta fix it. No, stay in your exhibit! I don't care if everybody else has also come over here. Alright, get over there, get over there, Pegomastix. Do you understand the danger you're in, Dodo? Do you have any idea the absolute danger you are in? Oh, that's sad! It's standing next to, like, the pile of dead chicks. <laughs> that is morbid beyond belief, little dodo. Morbid beyond belief. Oh my gosh. Alright, release you. I'm gonna adopt you out, actually. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. No, 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 no. Now is not the time. Now is not the time to go on a rampage, ma'am. Oh, nah. uh Uh-uh. Uh uh-uh. This is not happening. You are now tranquilized. I'm- uh, sir. 
Oh my gosh, yeah, the dino the dino team was being released. Okay, yeah. This is this has been a day. If you ask me. It's been a day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And why are you guys why can't you guys stay in your crates now? Who are you? Why are you why are you in the ground, Overaptor? Oh my gosh, intern. This is this is like This is terrible. <gasps> oh, this is just terrible. I wonder if like the glass fencing's broken, but it's just not showing us that it's broken. Alright, let's go back over. Make sure all the glass fencing is in place. Dino safety award for tranquilizing a dino on our own. Uh, I'm not feeling quite like celebrating right now, but thank you, I guess. <laughs> and like, there's still dinos being put in crates. Okay, I could have sworn this fence was fixed. Yeah, this fence looks fixed to me. Okay, back over here. Okay, that's a woolly rhino. Mm-hmm. That woolly rhino was just safely in its exhibit, if you ask me. Or wait, one of them was. Maybe that one escaped. Alright, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Stay here with your lovely lady. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> in turn, we need something nice and relaxing and peaceful after this to recover. Look, there goes a Pegomastix. We're going to be collecting those guys for weeks. Oh, look at that, that crate so gently tucked between. Oh, and now one of the woolly rhinos is sick. Why? Okay, hang on, buddy. I'm trying to do right by you guys. I think the only things that withstood... I'm gonna freaking build with rock everywhere now. Because at least the rock exhibits didn't didn't break apart. Like the brick exhibits did. Oh, jeez. Alright. Alright, in turn. I think we might have hope at the end of the tunnel. Light at the end of the tunnel now? No, look, there's a broken piece right there. Stay. Stay here. Eh. Ah, oh, phew. There we go. All right, let's double check. I think that we've done it. I think we've fixed a good chunk of them, but not all of them or else then we would have then we would have the grant come in. Oh, we've spent so much money fixing all of this too. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's keep looking cuz the grant will come in when we actually do have every single fence piece fixed. So we're going to have to look. Oh, there, 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 there. I see it. Okay, jungle fence, jungle fence, jungle fence. Eh. Okay, baby dodo, you've got to get out of here. You're gonna turn into somebody's snack. No, no question. All right, there's that. There's that, okay. All right, all right. All right, that looks good. Okay, what about over here? All right, walking along this fence, walking along this fence. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Woolly Rhino one is sick, gotta cure you. All right, hang on, little one. It's because we didn't give you a good bath, huh? There we go. That should help you out. Oh, Nanahin just passed away of old age. Aww. Alright, what about you? Oh, this is Smilodon number two. Our Smilodons! I don't even know how many of our Smilodons we have anymore. Alright, where are your children? Where are your babies? Here's Smilodon number three. Where's Smilodon number four? Did it get, like, sick and die? Don't tell me we lost Smiley on number four. No, no, we have Smiley on number four somewhere. Over here. <laughs> Still in the Smiley on exhibit, poor thing. Oh my gosh, okay, this is chaotic. All right, in turn. <sighs> We're going to have to figure out why the heck uh, everything is still as absolutely messy as it is. So, I mean, everyone's still being put in crates, and I need to figure out why. All right. We're gonna have to go over and check all the gra glass- Ah, the bluegill! Who would put a bluegill in the crate? Okay. We're gonna fix all the fencing. We need a quick lunch break. At least you do. Because I'm going to lose- lose my- my mind at this rate. So, let's see. Let's come over here. Did what, any of you break? No, you're all fine. Was it the invisible fencing and that's why? We can remove all of that real quick. Alright. Bluegill! Bluegill 3, get back in the water! Oh, you poor little one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, yeah, okay. Go get go get some lunch in turn, and I will meet you back here. And it looks like we have still so much to do in our zoo, because there there's just chaos. Chaos everywhere. 
Oh jeez, I hope we fixed it now. I, I hope we did. <laughs> Going back over the glass fence. Da, 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 da. Okay, all right. We'll work on this a little bit more as soon as you come back and I'll see you then in turn. All right, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs>